Dealing with scanned data can be quite the hassle. SolidWorks offers a couple solutions to make this process more manageable for its users. Scan to 3D is a SolidWorks add-in that comes with every license of SolidWorks Professional and Premium, whereas GeoMagic for SolidWorks is also an add-in, however, it is purchased separately. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison on the two add-ins where we are converting mesh data into a solid object in order to see which process is the quickest. For this vlog, I'm going to be getting my scan from artech3d.com. Artec offers free scan files for use on their website as long as you give them attribution. You can search for different 3D formats and different scans based on scanners. To download, simply click on the scan you want, and then you're going to navigate to select free download. And then here you can select the file type you want to download. But don't forget to give attribution to Artec 3D as shown on their website. First, we are going to set up Scan to 3D. In order to turn on Scan to 3D, go to Tools, Add-ins, and then activate the Scan to 3D add-in. From here, we are going to go to Open, and then change the file type to Scan to 3D Mesh. Then you can go to Options and Edit it so it merges meshes to remove any overlapping data. Finally, click Open. Once open, you can access Scan to 3D tools by going to Tools and then Scan to 3D. For this example, we are just going to access Surface Wizard. Once Surface Wizard Manager appears, select Mesh and then click Next and then click Automatic Creation. Now we're going to flip over to setting up GeoMagic for SolidWorks. Again, go to your add-ins from Tools and activate the GeoMagic for SolidWorks add-in. Next, open a new part and import the STL file within the GeoMagics tab. Once the STL file is imported, select Auto Surface and then click the green check mark to begin. You can now see a side-by-side -side comparison of Scan to 3D and GeoMagic for SolidWorks crank their gears and begin turning the mesh model into a solid model. Scan to 3D is the video in the top left of the screen, where GeoMagic for SolidWorks is in the bottom right. You will notice that Scan to 3D is showing at 400% increase in speed, where the GeoMagic for SolidWorks is being shown in real time. The mesh file is 6.74 megabytes for reference, and both of the methods are running at their default settings. As you can see, GeoMagic has finished at approximately 35 seconds to turn the mesh model into a solid model, and Scan to 3D took about 2 minutes and 50 seconds, meaning GeoMagic was 485% faster than Scan to 3D for this application. Looking at the Scan to 3D model first, you can see by creating a section view that the model is in fact solid. Doing the same thing we just did, again by creating a section view, you can see that this model is solid as well. Take into account that these results may vary. And after running further testing, the larger the file type, meaning size and complexity of the mesh model, then the greater gap between these two add-ins became. Scan to 3D struggled with larger file types and creating complete solid models for these complex mesh models. They each have their own application in place. Since Scan to 3D comes with every professional and premium seat of SolidWorks, creating solid models using Scan to 3D works just fine for smaller applications and more simple scan data. However, if you are dealing with more complex meshes and larger file types, GeoMagic for SolidWorks is the superior add-in.